so we're starting off well. The Goodness. tire appears to be flat. <laughs> Got up at 5.15. We're gonna go for a morning walk to get a coffee. And we're like, oh, like, we'll just hit the road. It's currently a quarter past eight. <laughs> and we are still and we here. are like 200 meters from the caravan park. <laughs> then life's going well. He's here. Nice. It's nine o'clock. <laughs> we would literally be, we left at like half past six, so we'd be almost halfway. <laughs> I think this is our fourth day living the van life and I'm loving it. I knew I would enjoy it, but I really didn't expect to love it this much. It's just a different way to live and I love it. Huh? Can't work out this water. What are you trying to do? This is the first morning I've actually kind of gotten ready a little bit. We're currently in Cape Hillsborough. This morning I just wanted to like freshen up a little bit. I didn't wash my hair because I actually didn't bring shampoo and conditioner. I just thought I'd wet my hair because it's just so warm. Put a bit of makeup on today for the first time. Got all my staple jewelry on as usual. I feel like that's the one thing even if I'm not wearing makeup or anything I always just like have on that makes me feel just me you know. And I wanted to thank Anna Louisa for sponsoring this video. If you have seen a lot of my videos in the past you'll know how much I love Anna Louisa and how literally I never take these staple pieces off. This necklace is just like one of my all-time favorites. I just love any subtle gold dainty jewelry and i think this necklace is just like the perfect i don't know the perfect depiction of that it's like a little crystal diamondy thing just on a really dainty chain i think it just constantly looks like subtle but like gives gives the chest a bit of something these earrings i literally never take off they're my absolute favorite these are definitely what i get the most questions about too that's a close-up of them they're just little gold not really hoops but like that's a good look at them they're looking really good with this little campground tag we've got one of my pet peeves is when jewelry goes silver when gold jewelry goes silver i just feel like like you can just tell the quality is not quite there these two i literally keep on 24 7 these i mean i wore them in the shower this morning. I wear them most days. I slept with them last night, to be honest, because I forgot to take them off. I've worn them in the ocean heaps, and they still haven't tarnished at all, which is just phenomenal. Same with this. I literally, other than tanning, never take this necklace off. It's just like, I feel naked when I don't have it on. I'll make sure to link all of these pieces below if you did want to check any of them out. I do have a discount code for Annalisa 2, which is just Sophie J. 10 i'm pretty sure but i'll leave it all down below and put the discount code on the screen i'm pretty sure they have pieces starting off at like 39 dollars with a discount code that's oh, kind of great i just love anna louisa because you're really not forking out thousands of dollars for gold jewelry but it's still good quality you know so yeah i'll definitely make sure to link these all below if you do want to check them out but we're just kind of cleaning up now hey see if we can find a good spot to park up and have some breakfast Recky. this morning we uh, i might actually insert that footage now but we got up at five and went down watch the sunrise there was like kangaroos on the beach this place is kind of like famous for having kangaroos just kind of all around even like as we've been just chilling in the campsite they're constantly like hopping past we also took the drone up this morning which was so cool but awesome. i might insert all that footage in now i loved it Christmas morning, I was like, this is so good. Is that a real life video game? And I just feel so relaxed. Like, even this place is just so quiet. I know, it just feels so peaceful here. Sam's being the domestic prince that he is. <laughs> Time for some brekkie. We've got a fridge in here, so we've just been having, like, yogurt, fruit, muesli, breakfast. So we're going to go park up somewhere and make some brekkie. Fuel, a toilet break, maybe some snacks. I'm getting a nice coffee. I feel like when you're driving, you just want something. Oh, mate, it's so dangerous. Snacking on, drinking. Someone's walking past with hot chips at the moment. It is 10:30 in the morning, but I could, I could, I could. Ninety-four dollars. Oh, All right. Absolutely no idea where we it's are. It's like a servo, but it's got like a massive shop. I found this, and she really made the mistake of not bringing any hair ties. So I'm gonna grab these. And I can't work out if these are like kind of cute or the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And they are only $3.50. So I think I'm gonna get them. 
I'm not sure. I'm gonna get them anyway. Do I need anything else? I'm gonna get some nail clips as well because I forgot them. My toes need doing. You look a walk. Should we do a, a snack haul? Can I tell a story? Yeah, you can tell so a story. So I was very proud of herself finding the snack section of this server. It was like a massive store. We both went to the toilet. I've come out. Presumed you'd be waiting for me. So I was like, okay, she's still in there. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I was like, okay. She's just in the toilet having a rough time. I was like, okay. And then I look out and like this big, big beast is like parked in the middle nozzle at the server. And there's like three cars lined up behind her waiting. And I was like, we take turns at paying for the fuel. And I was like, where is she? Oh, screw it. I should come to the pressure and paid for it. Move the van. Come back. She's like, comes out with all these snacks. <laughs> they have a whole shop back here with all these snackies. And I was like, you were holding up the whole servo here. <laughs> I didn't even think I just got too excited. She got so excited about the snack. Pea snaps. These are so good. Have you had these before? Mm. My favorite coconut water ever. Oh, that was a good open. Nothing beats it. There's a lady sitting in the car just staring at, I'm not sure, me or the van. Like, she's been staring this whole time. Sam thought, oh. <laughs> Sam thought he was ordering an ice latte but got this epic caramel ice frappe. Yeah, I didn't get that on purpose, but I'm kind of glad I did. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, they're good, hey? Although... <laughs> she's just having all right on the look. Is she really, like... Is no looking? shame, she's just like... <laughs> Do you know what baffles me about these? This is a pretty small packet. It says it has five servings. Look at that. Crime. That's one serving. What up? <laughs> <laughs> I really just made out that. Still looking. Still looking. How's it going down there, Bush Ranger? We're literally climbing a mountain peak. I thought we were just going for a leisurely stroll. This is the falls that it would obviously normally be flowing down there, but it's not. We made it though. It would be actually nice to like if it was flying to come to some people. I used to do this all the time. It's like this was our thing, family camp trips and stuff. I feel like at school we always used to. Yeah, school camps. <laughs> We should be up the front of the airplane. <laughs> it's so hot. We have made it to Ellie Beach. It is just like. I can't even. I have no words. We're staying two nights here as well, which I'm very excited about because. One night wouldn't have been enough. I'm gonna put all the groceries away because they need to go in the fridge. The van grocery haul. Got a bit happy with the snacks. Popcorn. More, more blueberries and strawberries for breakfast. TV snacks. Watermelon because I feel like nothing's better than fresh watermelon on a hot day. Bananas for breakfast. Avocado. More yogurt. I saw these and they just really intrigued me. They're like baked strawberries and they feel like chewy. So I bought them. I just feel like when you're on the road, snacks are just everything. We also got some pineapple. A couple bags of chips, some next bar, some more of my favorite coconut water, a couple of cranked protein shakes because they were half price. I can't say no to a half price cranked. Mayo for wraps, more tuna, pads because I'm on my period, which I actually have a story time. Period horror story from the first day of the road trip, which I'll tell you about later. When I say it was a horror story, I'm not over exaggerating. Whew, all right, where are we putting all the chips? Come here. Kidding. Oh yeah. I'm sweating my face off. <laughs> Is there anything more Aussie summer than this? This just reminds me of camping as a child. <laughs> Get up, post that. <laughs> We have gotten ready a little bit for dinner tonight. I mean, when I say gotten ready, I popped a dress on and popped some more lipstick on. Can you give them an outfit of the night? Oh, you want me to show them? I thought you wanted me to give my outfit of the night. You can give yours up. Okay, cool. Very early beach. I went for the slick hair look because my hair is oily. It's one of my favorite looks. This dress is Billy J. Billy J. She's uh, Princess Polly. Um, I don't know what this is. Cotton on. Is it? Cotton on. I bought it for you. These are probably cotton on. You bought these as well, didn't you? Yeah, Did I think you buy so. these together? I think so. Fire, dude. <laughs> Watch his movement. Oh. Um, socks are Gymshark. Oh. Shoes are Nike. Do you know what this dress... Yeah, it's fine. Do you know what this dress reminds me of? What? The white or gold or blue and black dress or whatever it was called. Yeah, you got the blue and black one, obviously. <laughs> We're in civilization tonight, so we thought we'd 
treat ourselves to a dinner out. Kind of dinner. I looked at the seafood plate that they offer. Mm. It's like forty-eight dollars, but it looks bloody good. I might indulge. Mm. <laughs> I might indulge. Sam came up with the idea of doing 10, I was going to say 10, 100 push-ups a day each. Just to, you know, try and convince ourselves we're keeping a bit of strength. What we've been doing instead of like actually doing 100 push-ups at once, just been doing like 20 here, 20 there, 20 there. I had 30 to do just then. Just pumped them out like the gym bro I am. Cold shower before bed. Good morning. <laughs> making some lunch now. We've been having tuna wraps every single day. There's just nothing better on a hot summer's day, I feel like. I also bought some new shorts because I didn't bring any denim shorts. I don't know what I was thinking. But I love them. They're just from Cotton On. I think they were like $30 or something. So comfy. I love them. Do you want to tell a story about the um, aircon? Basically, because it's so hot outside here, it's only a small aircon. It's basically overheated. And we thought we broke it. We thought we broke it. So we learned our lesson there. We were just stressing because it's just going to keep getting hotter. We broke the aircon. We broke the aircon. I don't think we'd sleep. How do you do it? Like, How do you this, do this, this without just, no, an aircon? No, we're, the, we're the epitome of like the lampers, right? Because people do camping all the time. They're probably laughing at us right now. You don't but have we're aircon from in the, a tent. We're from the city. We're just princesses. From the Whenever city. we get too hot, we're, <laughs> we're like, oh, oh no. We're just being really dramatic. We are. We're like, oh my god, I can't even function. <laughs> Again, this is us being princesses, but being out in the middle of the day, oh, it's just so it. hot and you get burnt so easily. So we thought we'd just come and chill. Went and bought some tea towels and we soaked them in water and put them in the freezer. And we've just been wrapping them. It's such a beautiful day. There's literally not yeah. a cloud in the sky. It's nice. I love this campground too. I feel like I'm just accustomed to this life. Like it's gonna be weird going home. Yeah. What time? I keep saying, I'm like, I, I didn't expect not to like it. Like, I knew I was going to have fun, but I feel like I'm loving it so much more than I thought. I don't know why we thought this is a good idea, but we've come to play tennis at 2.48 p.m. What's the degrees right now? 31 degrees right now. I was saying I look like I know how to play tennis, judging by my outfit. These shoes are actually like Nike court ones or something so they're literally tennis shoes these pants are the new i'm pretty sure they're called pulse i can try and link them below if you were interested and then i've got the whitney top with my swimmers underneath because we're gonna jump in the pool straight after this okay <laughs> not even 30 seconds in and i've already launched the ball over we're going well So good. Australian Open Opens. Down. We're here when you want us. Good. We're on our way to dinner now. We're arguing because Sam keeps cutting me off while we're, we're walking. Not nah, kidding. Look at uh, Sosh's toes. She cut them. <laughs> <laughs> My toenails are getting too long. Do you want to see my epic shoes? Yeah, I love plug them. In. This is the outfit for tonight. This is One Mile. Yeah. These are Billy J. Billy J. This is David Jones. And all of my Anna Louisa jewelry as well. Gymshark. Yeah. As always, always got to wrap some sort of Gymshark. Oh, of course. Birds of Threads. Yeah. Which I'm pretty sure is, I don't know, you, someone you know. Yes. Someone it's, you know um, is brand. Yes. Their shirts are awesome. These are Culture Kings, Gymshark. Nikes. My tan, I'm not sure if you can see, is starting to come off. And I don't have any like remover or scrub, so it's just gonna have to come off and look like I'm shedding a skin layer.
Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, golden. Golden, golden things. 100 push ups and 50 squats for the day. I'm very full from dinner. the decision to stop by Little Crystal Creek. Five and a half hour drive from Ellie to Wallaman. So this is like breaking it up a bit. I just feel like fresh after that, mm. don't you? How good, how clean do you feel? Even this morning feels like forever ago. I feel like because mm. we're having, like we're waking up early and having such long days. Packing up this morning, it feels like yesterday. Mm. It's kind of great. We had no reception at, where were we? Cape Hills were as well. Yeah. It was so good, just like not <laughs> having the option to mm. scroll TikTok. Could you just do mindlessly? <laughs> We were driving, we literally just stopped back on the road and we saw a sign for Frosty Mango and we thought, it'd be rude not to stop here. Oh my gosh, it smells good. There's literally like the mango hairs in it. Oh, it's so good. It's like mango. It really does. It feels fresh. Now it's ready to go, let's go. Hey yo, what's going on, hey? Can you just tell them to, I don't want to, bruh. <laughs> Look at the little one. <laughs> hey, hey, we appreciate it. very much neglected the push-ups today. I'd only done 20 and it's about 5.30 p.m. So we're now pumping out most of them. It's 100. Nice. Sam's on top of the roof. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a deer in headlights. Uh -huh. Got my pillow. <laughs> On the roof. I'm He's just, up there for the night. I'm, I'm in here. We're stargazing off the roof of the van. Yeah. Just so quiet here. Yeah. I think I'm gonna end this vlog off here because I feel like it's gonna be a long one. And it's Sunday night tonight, so I think I might start a fresh one or a new one tomorrow, being Monday morning. Is that, is that a firefly? <gasps> See that? Yeah. That flashy bug? Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this one. Obviously, it's like different to my normal videos, so. If you got to this point, I love you. We love you. We love you. See you next week.